Hello everyone, today we're going to be looking at the power supplies, the 850 power supply that I'm thinking to get for our computer build. This one actually is from the Goto USA. Uh, I hope I'm saying the name right. Uh, we are getting actually a power tower, computer tower from them too. They have some nice stuff in there too. If you guys want to check them out, again, it's sold on Amazon. Uh, it's a Goto USA. I am not... 100% familiar with, you know, all the details on this one till we get it and review it. But according to their advertising, it is the 800, the AD Plus certified, which is that's kind of good for efficiency. Give you less power that you're gonna spe spend. It is a gold model, which is that mean it's made out of good materials, not with those cheap ones. And what we kind of liked about it, it is that have these ports here. Instead of having a big bunch, of course, that you might use, you might not use all of them. You can get to choose which one you need. You might be able to, you might going to use all of them, but you might not use all of them. So it depends on your build that you can customize. You can plug some in, not. The good thing about this, that comes with a wire. A lot of companies, they don't give you all the wires. This one here comes with a lot of wires with it. Okay, it is again. Is, they have some good capacity in there that we were looking at. Um, big fan, okay, and you can control the fan speeds, okay, from like 600 all the way to 1500 RPM, which is that's kind of nice. They say you have a silent fan in there, smart silent fan, so that's kind of plus. Okay, of course, you give you 91.8 efficient on saving. That's another plus. Uh, they have a lot of models. They, they, they do have the 750, 850, uh, 850 white one, and they have the 1250. And they have a platinum one too. They have the platinum one. Uh, we are choosing the gold, the 850. That's more than enough for our belt. But we like to always have some more you know, power. If we end up getting in the future something bigger, so it'll be easier just to replace the power supplies. All the cables will match and stuff. That's the good thing about these. That, you know, you can get to keep your cables. So you got to do just swap. Especially if you wire everything, just swap the power supplies. Anything goes wrong with it in the future, we can just swipe it too. But I believe they do have warranty on this. Okay, so it seems like a good company. Uh, they do have good star, you know, about four and a half star on Amazon at a 1,300 30, it's 36 63 something like that which is it seems very nice uh, again we are getting the power this power supplies from them in the case maybe we'll get some more stuff but we are gonna purchase stuff ahead before thanksgiving and um, uh, cyber monday that way so to make sure when stuff goes on sale we will get them right away and complete the build and plus we will share the complete build with you guys later on but well, this is just a, an unboxing is going to be after we received it and we'll go from there. So this is the power supply. All the reason I want to show you guys about this power supply right here is a lot of people think, okay, power supply is 750 watts. We're going to need the power because we're building a PC, right? So why take this power supply? The reason is very simple. First, let's open it up for you. This is what we got. GM 850 watt. This is not a joke. This could win whatever the hell you have. Okay, let's get this opened up. So we got the cables, we got the cable. This is gonna come in handy. And this is, huh, this is actually really, really light. I expect that. This will get it open. All right. Now, this is what we really want to share with you. The reason that we went with this one is because of this. 
You're going to see a lot of power supplies out there is going to say 850 watt, but be very careful. The reason we're getting this 850 watt because it's going to have a lot of things to plug into it. If you do not have the source to plug into it, it's pointless. Second thing, this is very important, and this is the sale point to us, at least, is the cables. You're going to need all of these. Believe it or not, you will need. If it's not this part, it's that part. And this one here came with everything that you're going to need from your video card to your installation to the PCI to whatever you're going to plug into it. This thing will take it. This is actually a huge fan. I don't know if you guys ever seen the ones that goes on the side. It has opening. I mean, just have a look. This is how big this fan is. Now, these guys have all kind of models. They have, they go from, I believe, 700. Let me see. Give me one. Okay, so this thing here goes, they have 600 watts, 650 watts, 700, all the way through to 1250 watt. You don't need it. Well, I mean, you might need it, but for us, we actually, 850, 750 is plenty. This is 850. We went in NVIDIA GeForce, it's a uh, motherboard, M.2 processor. I mean, this is overkill to what we have, but we wanted it. We wanted to have the extra power because we're going to plug a lot of things in it to the future. So, this is it for this one. Once we get it all together, plug in the wires, we'll have a follow-up video with everything that goes on. This right here, you're gonna love it. Because when time comes to actually do it, you're not gonna find any in the house. So here's the cables that we were talking about. The thing is, again, I'm not gonna use this. I don't need this many, <laughs> well, trust me. You do not know what they're going to come up with next, and you do not know when you're going to need it. But when you do need it, you're going to spend another $20 on this. It already comes with it. Just put it on the side. It's coming day old. You'll need it. God knows what they're building up next. God knows how you're going to use it. But I'd rather come with it with the price that I'm paying than actually go spend extra money when I do need this. Wait another week for me or to find the right part. This is actually neat because it comes with these. So if you have a lot of cables you want to manage, you could actually stick them together. You could just use it as one. I mean, you know how to do the other ones. If you're going to go this thick, you could just add another one to it and put them, mix them up all together. It's going to be a bundle up like this. That's not going to happen to you because once you put it in the system, it's going to go in the back. But in case if you do want to stick them all together in the back of the PC, this is cool. You can't go wrong with that. Thank you for watching the video. Have a nice day.